Hello my lovelies, we're going to do another name frame but this time rather than doing a print and cut we're going to do it all in cardstock. This is great because you can use all your scraps. So just like with our print and cut video I've created our base layer so this is going to sit within our frame and then I've got my actual text as well. I've used the font Impact. This used to be a design space font but it isn't anymore. You have to download it from a third party site and get it on your device so that Design Space can then use it as a system font. There are some great fonts in Design Space that work really well for this. You want them to be nice and uniform and you also want them to be bold as well. But for me, Impact is the perfect font for this. Now, lots of people are using the Critter image set. This is a fantastic image set. I've got some images here that I've got from Design Space that are just animals that I've picked up and what they've all got in common is that they've got a base layer. So if we look at this panda there's a base layer. So those are the kind of images that you're looking for and if they don't have a base layer you want to be able to create a base layer so that all your cardstock can then sit on top of that. We're going to go to images. I'm going to come to highlighted categories. I'm going to go to image sets and I'm going to type in critters, C-R-I-T-T-E-R-S and it will bring me up with the critter image set. These are lovely. We're going to come into create a critter. I'm going to get a little old hippo. I'm going to get some grass. I'm going to get the vines and I'll show you how to do the vines in a moment so that they sit perfectly within your letters. I'm going to get the elephant and the zebra I think and then I can add those to my canvas. So first thing I want to do is just get everything in position so I know where everything's going to go. So I'm happy with the placement of my animals, now I'm going to sort out my vines. So first things first I'm going to ungroup those. And then I'm just going to work out where I'm going to want these to go. So my animals, I'm just going to move out the way. And then I'm going to duplicate all of this. So with my duplicate, I can get rid of the frame. I don't need that. My text for the time being because this is a duplicate text, I'm just going to weld all of that together. And then with my vines, I'm going to hold down my shift key. So I select all three of my vines and I'm going to weld those together. What I'm then going to do is draw around both of them and slice. And when I slice, what's going to happen is that all of the bits of vine that are overlapping are going to be sliced out. So I can get rid of those and I can get rid of my text and that's going to leave me with perfectly placed vines that are going to sit exactly as I want them to. And they're going to take on the shape of the letter so they're not going to overhang the letters. I can then delete these. What I'm then going to do is duplicate this again and it will become clear in a second why. So if I was just going to have my letters all in one colour, what I would do now is I would obviously have my duplicate so that I could have my background insert and then with this one I would just slice my letters into that and we can then just delete them because it would cut out my template and it would cut out my letters as well however I want my letters to be different colours so I am going to have to cut my letters out separately and of course I need to keep that insert as well. With my letters all I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup them so that they become individual. So this one I'm going to make red, this one I'm going to make purple and then this one I'll make red. 
and so I'll be able to cut those out as well. And that is really my frame all ready to go. So it's completely now ready to cut out. So I've actually got my insert frame, my template frame, my letters, my vines, and then all of my animals, which I'm gonna cut out in cardstock. got all my pieces cut out I've got my frame here from the range any sort of deep long frame will do but you want it to be a sort of box frame so you've got that deepness to work with I'm going to take the back off and it's actually the back that I'm going to be working with so first of all I'm going to add my backing bit actually onto the back of my frame and I'm just going to use some tape, I've got a tape runner here, just to keep that glued in place. I've then got my stencil piece, so I'm just going to place that like so, and then I can add my letters. Now I could just glue these in, I'm not going to, I'm going to add foam on the back of these. I can then remove my stencil and that's the name part of my frame then done. I can then start building my 3D characters so all I'm going to do is get my pieces and just glue them on top of each other. Again I can get some foam pads add those to the back and of course I can double them up on top of each other so if I want it to be a thicker effect I can glue two pads on top of each other and I can then add that onto my frame. Once I've got all my images in place I can then add this back into its frame and it'll be done. As always, thank you so much for joining me. This is a great project to do. It's fantastic for gifts, so newborn gifts, birthday gifts, even a Christmas gift. They're so lovely to make and you can do so many different takes on them. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!